Unparalleled stamina, footwork, ring craftsmanship, and power are what make Manny Pacquiao an exceptional fighter. But what he stands out for, what makes him defy his opponent almost every time, is his lightning speed. Manny Pacquiao. Oh, oh. Thurman. And let me tell you, that was just a quick punch. Although he's no longer as fast as he was in his prime, for his age, he is still faster than most young boxers in the welterweight division right now. So today, we will take a look at seven of the fastest performances showed by the world's only eight-weight division boxing champion. Manny Pacquiao. Welcome to Boxing Matrix. Enjoy this video. Pacquiao's first fight in the US was a junior featherweight title match with South African champion Lalo Ledwaba in 2001. Manny stood in as a replacement for an injured Enrique Sanchez on about two weeks' notice. Ledwaba was considered the number one junior featherweight at the time, but Pacquiao along with the excellent guidance of Freddy Roach, just destroyed him, breaking his nose in the first round and dropping him in the second and sixth. According to Ledwaba, he was only told of the replacement four days before the fight, and to Pacquiao's advantage, Ledwaba hadn't fought a southpaw before. Pacquiao! Say Pacquiao! Pacquiao! Pacquiao. Yeah should fight here. He shouldn't try to get into a boxing match with this master boxer from South Africa. You gotta fight this. Don't allow him to get into his boxing groove. Then you are in shape trying to box a boxer. In bad shape. And Pacquiao landing some hard shots. That's what you gotta do. Throw it all out. Manny Pacquiao has landed the harder shots in round one. And now he dominates the last minute of the round with a full-scale attack against Ledwaba. Freddie Roach said to me yesterday, hey, look, we have great respect. He gets off to an uncertain start against Pacquiao's hard punches in round one. And here comes the Filipino fighter again. Boom. Ledwaba is going to have to do something to slow down his charge. You want to fight? The fight is yours, but it's not going to develop like that. Oh, you talk about getting old in a hurry. Lechinola Ledwaba looks like an old 29 in there Six. against 24-year-old Manny Seven. Pacquiao right now. Eight. Punch is thrown in the first round. Absolutely. I think this guy just hit so hard that Lenwaba is totally on the defensive. Lenwaba came in as the potential star. Right now, it looks like Pacquiao may go out as the star. He took this fight on only two weeks' notice, only came here to America ten days ago, and he is banging Lenwaba right now. You gotta fight. If you want to be a star here, you gotta fight. That's a rude awakening for a good master boxer like that rapper. Ah, you go a body shot by the rapper. That may that change that off. You gotta he lands two straight lefts. He went to the body, and that's the most important shot to own. And bangs that rapper again with a big left upstairs. What a fight. They're trading vicious body shots at short range. Body with an explosive shot. And another. And a big right hand upstairs. And now he's got Ledwaba back on the defensive and bleeding badly. He's got to stay on it. He cannot give him a break. Give him a 10-8 round, an extra point for the knockout. That was incredible. It appeared as, it, it appeared as a joke. And throw that straight right hand of his. Shouldn't bend over at all. You just got to stand in position, in the pocket, the job of it. Papa stands his ground and just throw the right hand. The guy's right there in front of him. Starts firing his jab. From the Philippines. Guy from South Africa. Giving us your weight. Pacquiao got away with a low blow. Joe Cortez was blocked from seeing it. Freddy Roach also told his fighter, don't, uh, hasn't yet found the right offense to go behind that. 
of what Pacquiao's got to do. Keep it on the ship. Pacquiao is fun to watch. Boom! He's a good fighter. He had no idea. Pacquiao may take care of it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How do you feel? You gonna continue? Take it off. When have you ever seen a fighter say, I'm, I'm not okay? There's a weariness and almost a resignation in the eyes of Led Waba. Yeah, and Joe Cortez has seen enough. That's a TKO victory for the very impressive Manny Pacquiao. In mid-November 2003, Pacquiao went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Marco Antonio Barrera for the featherweight title. Pacquiao, the underdog, went after Barrera like a storm, dropping him in the third and eleventh rounds before Barrera's corner threw in the towel, leaving him and almost everybody else stunned by Pacquiao's extreme domination. This is the fight in which the Pacquiao legend was born. Pacquiao is trying to find a way to get his straight left hand through the center, but he cannot seem to find the top. Pacquiao is trying to take control. He's, 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 is this going to be a good thing? His left hand in, just like there. He's had four or five of them, six in the last 30 seconds. Pacquiao is He never shows emotion in the ring. Big combination by Barrera as he catches Pacquiao coming in. Stays the clear punches for the most part of this round is still being landed by Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao has come out with a determined rally in round two.
in November of 2010, making his way to his eighth title win in the middleweight division, Pacquiao was much smaller and outweighed by 17 pounds by Antonio Margarito on fight night. Many had believed that Pacquiao had bitten off more than he could chew before this title match, but when it came to fight night, he laid a savage beating on Margarito in a dominant performance. His lightning speed was a serious problem for Margarito during the fight, and his well-timed counterpunches had caused a lot of damage. Margarito had suffered a fractured orbital bone as a result of the bout. Already it has been a tumultuous evening in Cowboy Stadium. Pacquiao trying to get inside and go to the body, and Emmanuel Stewart. Right now, many have said, can I, I see the size of that. to see was Antonio Margarito standing in the middle of the ring and boxing with Manny Pacquiao, but that's with those arms and head down. Well, one thing, very intelligent fighter. Right here. That could be a factor in the fight. Pacquiao beginning to focus a little more to the body, I think. You still see the same facial expression that Margarita had when he fought Cotto. I mean, you're not yeah, supposed yeah, to. Yeah, I'm saying size, 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 but I just. With some of the great Mexican fighters that he beat. This big, delectable experience, perhaps, for Margarita. Margarito still fighting for him, an unfamiliar fight, boxing with his hands up. Press the action, Pacquiao hits a block with a big left hand. Physically strong and has to do this rather than just be heard about it. Margarito all down the ring. He's beating Margarito up in this round. It's a huge moment of Margarito's life. Body punch, I think, and they really took all of the starch out of him. Margarito misses wild. The southpaw was left hooking the body into the cross. The Margarito staggered. Lands in the same place. Great left hand shots for Pacquiao, staggering Margarito momentarily there. Margarito, who at the height of his career a few years ago, was averaging. Well, this is a vast display of body power, everything. Ring generalship here. Unbelievable. So, in a historical fighter I've ever seen. He does it all and fights everybody. That's what I like about it. This is easy to possibly go on a 12 round decision only because of Mark with the strictly a Pacquiao show. No, if, if I had a prediction, it was going to be that Pacquiao would win all 12 rounds, win a unanimous decision, and there'd be a lot of nervous moments in it. Yes. I thought Pacquiao would stop Margarito right around the sixth or seventh round. You may be on target. Or, or you may be, because he's never stopped fighting his fight in spite of a fight success. Fighting in spots the way we used to see him knock out Goodafin. But it's just a bigger man can have throw up the punches a little better than a smaller guy. But a regular 140 pound man, I think that would have knocked out. Another anomaly. If he's in good shape and he can continue to do this, he'll win the fight quite well, easy. But, you know, once he gets... Freddie Roach wanted to get the Texas State Athletic Commission to make Margarito shave off the beard, which probably they would have done. Pacquiao said, leave it there. I want to use it as a target. That's a fighter. Unbelievable machine. There's some many energy. And we're done. 
in what may have been the most impressive performance of Pacquiao's entire career. He fought Miguel Cotto in November of 2009 for the welterweight title. Pacquiao dominated the fight, dropping Cotto in rounds three and four, laying some serious damage to his face, and securing a 12th round TKO victory. Three punch combination, Pacquiao. There's the speed advantage for Pacquiao. See if Pacquiao can take his stuff. Pacquiao hits Cotto with a hard left hand. And another. And another. But Cotto can take the punch. He's not being knocked back. Good body shot by Cotto. Wow, beautiful counter shot by Pacquiao. Yeah. Here comes oh. and he goes. And that's a goal of a bad, bad break for the champion. But he got knocked down. It was one of those perfectly timed little punches which man is known for. Cotto's left-handed now, trying to tee off with that left hand. Now he's back orthodox. And he can switch because he's a natural south. Oh, nice, nice movement from Cotto to avoid those oh! shots. He's down again. Combination puts him down. He's hurt this time. He's very wobbly. I'm watching his legs. He's trying to get his legs back. He is very wobbly. He's been down twice. They'll get saved. He's... Maybe, maybe. From all angles. Fake knockdown. Here again, he's winning. Jay out from angle scored up. Not there he goes again. Weird punches from weird angles. He can assist standard punches. Up down. And then stop. And Toto is beginning to retreat constantly. And he almost went. Better than Henry Armstrong? Well, Armstrong is a guy. Yeah, hit him with a draw. Against a Filipino fighter named Severino Garcia. Absolutely. Just as he was in the late round, but now Pacquiao's backing him off again. Got him against the ropes. Tries to end it with one big shot. He glanced off Pacquiao's uppercut. Cotto backs into the corner. He's in big trouble now. The fight could end on. He can't, he can't, he can't hold this round. He can't see the punches now. Pacquiao is still winning. In May 2009, the Battle of the East and West was a professional boxing match for the Ring Magazine's Light Welterweight Championship and IBO Super Lightweight Championship between Manny Pacquiao and Ricky Hatton. Hatton was clearly no match for Pacquiao's lightning speed and deadly combination of punches. He was knocked down twice in the first round and knocked out before hitting the canvas in the second. Pacquiao's victory made him, at the time, one of the only two boxers to win a world title in six different weight divisions. They are genuinely friendly. They like each other. It should not show up in being a very wrestling type match also.
in a fighter. In June of 2008, Pacquiao made the move up to the lightweight division to claim the title from David Diaz. Diaz fought with a lot of heart, but was ultimately a total mismatch for Pacquiao's speed and power, and was eventually defeated by a TKO in the ninth round. After his victory, Pacquiao had become the number one pound-for-pound -pound boxer in the world after Floyd Mayweather's retirement. On the 20th of July 2019, at the MGM Grand Garden Arena, Manny Pacquiao had defeated Keith Thurman in a very close split decision win for the WBA Super Welterweight title. The previously undefeated Thurman was confident that he'd be the one to end the 40-year-old Manny Pacquiao's boxing career, but Pacquiao managed to knock him down within the first round, ultimately costing him the draw. In round 10, Manny hit Thurman with a hard left hook to the liver, causing him to retreat in pain. But Thurman had hit hard too, and the fight was very close, but the better fighter had won in the end. Knockout. We are underway. Round one from Manny Pacquiao. Oh, down oh. goes Thurman! And let me tell you, that was just a quick punch, and Manny Pacquiao moved in with his legs, and his hands and caught Thurman backing up. Thurman thought he could back up. Pacquiao catches Thurman. Pacquiao again, the aggressor. See what Pacquiao is doing right now is giving him different angles, giving Keith Thurman different angles. So when Keith Thurman thinks he's in front of him, he's not. And he has to readjust. Be smart and not drop his hands inside, work his body, try to slow him down. What did he say to you? I saw him and whisper something to you. He said yes, yes. All right, thanks so much. Good punch has landed. Very close. Their heads. Kenny Bam is going to break right away, too. He won the first round. Thurman has got to win this half of the fight. See? Now the response by Matt. Well, you know, I, I, I don't disagree with those numbers because Pacquiao, wherever he goes, he's always flicking out his way. He's going to try to do it, but whether he's got enough gas in, in, in the, the tank to be able to do it. Oh, good up there for that down. Boxing's pride to the Philippines, the ageless wonder, the one and only current WBA welterweight champion of the world.